गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर शिवम मिश्रा करेंटली आई एम वर्किंग एज एन एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन जी एल बजाज इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड मैनेजमेंट ग्रेटर नोएडा टूडे आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मल्टी स्टेज वेपर कंप्रेशन सिस्टम इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द सिंगल स्टेज वेपर कंप्रेशन सिस्टम विच हैज टू प्रेशर साइड दैट इज अ लो प्रेशर साइड एंड हायर प्रेशर साइड बट अ सिंगल स्टेज वेपर कंप्रेशन सिस्टम बिकम्स इन एडिक्वेट इफ द टेम्परेचर लिफ्ट दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टेम्परेचर्स बिटवीन द लोअर प्रेशर साइड एंड द हायर प्रेशर साइड दैट इज कंडेंशर प्रेशर साइड एंड द इवेप्रेशर साइड बिकम्स वेरी हाई द सिस्टम बिकम्स इन एडिक्वेट सो द सिस्टम दैट इज सिंगल स्टेज वेपर कंप्रेशन सिस्टम इज एडिक्वेट टिल द टेम्परेचर लिफ्ट इज लो as soon as the temperature lift becomes higher it becomes insufficient and inadequate for example in a chemical industry where the evaporator temperature is to be maintained around minus 150 degree centigrade while in a frozen food industry where the purpose is to preserve the food is there the evaporator temperature is to be maintained around minus 40 degree centigrade irrespective of the condenser temperature the temperature of evaporator is very low in this case so the temperature lift becomes very high apart from that if in a industry where the higher temperature is to be maintained or the condenser temperature is to be maintained at a higher side that is in case of a heat pump or a process heating application again the temperature lift becomes very high so when the temperature lift becomes very higher in a single stage vapor compression system it becomes insufficient and impractical also we can understand this by the rts curve that is temperature entropy curve we can see here if the evaporator temperature is maintained around this line so point 1 is the entry to the compressor it goes to point 2 it compressed here goes to point 2 then the heat rejection takes place in the condenser and the, then it is followed by the throttling process the cycle is 1 2 3 and 4 if i will keep down the evaporator temperature that is now the temperature is around this line so this point 1 becomes 1 dash again the cycle becomes 1 dash 2 dash 3 and 4 dash again if the evaporator temperature is further reduced it goes to point 1 double dash 2 double dash 3 and 4 double dash what is the difference between these cycles 1 2 3 4 and 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 3 and 4 dash and 1 double dash 2 double dash 3 and 4 dash that is here we can see if we compare 1 2 3 4 4 and 1 dash 2 dash 3 and 4 we can see the throttling we can see the super heating losses has been increased in case of the cycle where the evaporator temperature is lower similarly we can see that in case of a lower evaporator side the throttling losses has been further increased similar if i we'll compare this one with the further lower evaporator side cycle so we can see again the super heating losses has been increased here as well and the throttling losses also has been increased this is known as super heating horn this is known as super heating horn and this one is your throttling losses so if i'll compare we can see the point 4 dash is getting shifted towards the right side so we can see that refrigeration effect was higher in case of the cycle 1 2 3 and 4 and it is getting reduced as the evaporator temperature is reduced and the point 4 is shifted towards the right side we can also see we can also understand this concept by uh, a pr chart that is pressure enthalpy curve we can see that this is your point 1 this is point 2 3 and 4 this is your cycle again if the evaporator temperature is further reduced it goes to 1 dash 2 dash 3 and 4 dash and again if the further evaporator temperature is reduced it comes to point 1 double dash 2 double dash 3 and 4 double dash we can see that the these are the effects we can see we can observe here if we'll use ts and ph curve that is the refrigeration effect is getting decreased 
every time the evaporator temperature is reduced because the throttling losses are getting increased the superheating losses are getting increased the compressor discharge temperature increases while the quality of vapor at the inlet to the evaporator increases further a specific volume at the inlet to the compressor increases these all effects results in reduction of refrigeration effect and further the increase in work to the compressor this in turn reduces the performance or the cop of the single stage vapor compression cycle so in order to maintain in order to obtain a higher cop or a higher performance we would go for a multi stage system that is a refrigeration system with two or more lower side pressure and can be classified into multi stage compression system multi evaporator system and cascade system here so the multi stage vapor compression systems are preferred where we need to have two evaporator temperatures for example for an example if in a dairy plant our purpose is to maintain the milk at a lower temperature while we also need to produce ice cream as well so we need to have maintained these temperatures at different evaporator temperatures like if we need uh, if i need to produce ice cream i will have to maintain its temperature around minus 30 degrees centigrade further for the milk chilling its temperature is to be maintained around 2 degrees centigrade so these systems can preferred in a plant where two evaporator temperature requirement is there so before we proceed for multi compression system and multi evaporator system and cascade system there is there is a concept there are two concepts which are integral to multi pressure systems that is flash gas removal as well as intercooling in this lecture we will discuss about the flash gas removal what is flash gas it is one of the problem with higher temperature lift application that the entrance of higher quality of vapor at the entrance to evaporator we can see uh, from the ph chart and ts ph chart as well that as the evaporator temperature is lower down the quality of vapor at the entrance to the evaporator is increased this is called this vapor is called flash gas which need to be removed till it reaches the evaporator it is produced during the throttling process this flash gas need to be compressed to the condenser pressure since it is further in a gaseous form this does not contribute to the refrigeration effect while it also increases the pressure drop in the evaporator cop of any refrigeration system can be improved if a continuous removal of flash gas is being done although it is very difficult but it can be removed at an intermediate pressure so this is the arrangement this is the arrangement where a flash gas removal can be done here we can see there is a flash tank this is a pressure vessel where the separation of liquid as well as vapor states are done there is a float valve which maintains a constant liquid level in a flash tank if i'll see the arrangement we can have here the point we can understand this by the ph chart the point 6 the point 6 is the saturated liquid point after the condensation process if the process goes without the flash gas uh, flash tank it the point 6 goes to point 9 dash which is after the throttling process and this this is your refrigeration effect when it reaches the point 1 if a flash gas flash tank is introduced for the flash gas removal the point 6 after the saturated liquid is goes to an intermediate pressure flash tank where the removal of where the separation of saturated liquid and the flash gas is done the flash gas is supplied to the point 
here we can see it is flash gas which is supplied to the compressor the point 6 which comes from the condenser goes to an intermediate pressure where is a float wall is installed which uh, which maintains a constant liquid in a flash tank further it is supplied to the flash tank where the separation takes place and then it goes to point 8 the saturated liquid the liquid after separation goes to point 8 where it again becomes saturated liquid and as per the requirement it is expanded in the throttling wall and it further goes to the point 9. Now the state has been improved from 9 dash to 9. So we can see there is obviously an increase in the refrigeration effect if a multi-stage vapor compression system is preferred and a flash gas removal is done by the flash tank. So this is the lecture which was focused about the flash gas removal and the multi-stage weapon compression systems introduction. In the subsequent lectures we will discuss about the uh, intercooling part as well as the flash gas, flash gas removal and the intercooling combination as well. Thank you.